Welcome to Beta Creations. In this video, I am going to teach you V antenna. Now, before going to V antenna, we should know why we need a V antenna. So, before V antenna, there was antenna called long wire antenna, which is the simple structure wire antenna, and it is classified into two types: resonant type and non-resonant type. This long wire antenna had many disadvantages, and the three major disadvantages of long wire antenna are where low directivity high side lobes angle of beam is based on its length i will repeat it it has low directivity of course we know that we need high directivity right and its high side lobes which is not even recommendable we have to have for we know that we are mainly using directional antenna and we need the minor the side lobes should be very small of small intensity and we need the main direction lobe Major lobe of high uh, of high intensity, but this antenna had uh, high side lobes, which is not never recommendable. And its angle of beam is based on its length. So we had these three disadvantages. And in order to overcome these disadvantages, we use V antenna. So why the name V antenna? See, this is the structure of V antenna. You see that it has the shape of a V. Hence the name V antenna. It is made in the shape of a V. So here, V antenna consists of two long wires. Yeah, we told about long wire antenna earlier, right? Here we have two long wires of length L1 and L2, inclined at an, at an angle theta1 from the base and theta2 from here. See, theta1, theta2, length is L1 and length is L2. These are two long wire antennas given to the feed line. Okay, these are two long wire antennas. As, um, constructed like this and it's and this goes to the feed line this is an electrical connection now this is a physical structure for drawing physical structure you just can uh, make this connection too you can connect these both and these uh, and the three at this uh, three points are they rest on an insulator and to a stand this is a stand actually okay why why, why here uh, we are with an insulator which means it's given to an insulator to hold to hold a v antenna we are given the position just draw a v just uh, mark its edges it go to feed line okay from the uh, signal it goes to the feed that's why it's marked feed uh, from here to the feed and from here to the feed and it uh, lays on three stand and we had noticed that it's an important point higher the length of legs the, uh, the higher the directivity and gain so higher the length of long wire the more is the directivity and gain now the v antenna is classified into three types resonant v antenna non resonant v antenna and inverted V antenna. So what are the three classifications? Resonant antenna, non-resonant antenna and inverted V antenna. See and now don't confuse you and uh, no, 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 please don't get confused with resonant and non-resonant V antenna. Okay. It's very easy to understand. For non-resonant antenna, uh, V antenna, there will be a mass load. See, both the st structure is sh same but at the end of non resonant antenna there will it is uh, terminated the end of the v antenna is terminated with the mass load but in uh, non resonant antenna sorry uh, but in resonant antenna there is no mass load okay so just draw a no proper v antenna but the thing is you see here it has two major lobes in opposite direction let's look at the diagram hmm? here two major lobes two side lobes two major lobes two side lobes so in a in a single long wire there is four major lobes okay four major lobes so they combine together see these two combine a big lobe is coming these two combine a big lobe is coming which forms the upper part and here these two will combine and one part uh, major lobe is coming these two come and one big major lobe and these two combine uh, these two um, combine we will get like this Two, so here we are getting major lobe in two directions. That's a, uh, a, a big problem uh, because we mostly want a, a, a signal in one direction. But here in uh, resonant type, here we can see major lobe in two directions. And also for uh, major, if you are looking this way, in individual legs, uh, in individual long wire antenna, we can see four major lobe. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four individual, uh, four major lobe in individual directions. So that's a demerit. So now we can go to the non-resonant V antenna. As I told earlier, it's terminated with a matched load. Here it is not terminated with matched load. That's why we having in both directions. 
so i am repeating again i am repeating again so you can understand you can, and you can learn it right now itself individual will have four and when combined together it will have two major lobes in two directions in opposite directions and in between they will have side lobes too now we are going to speak about non resonant v antenna in non resonant v antenna the end of the antenna is terminated with the mast load no and as uh, in a bow case the, there is uh, this is two uh, non resonant long wires and radiation lobe individual you can see that here in long wire the major lobe exists in two directions but here the major lobe exists only in single direction you see that the major lobe exists only in single direction in this long wire antenna and in this long wire antenna of v antenna the major lobe exists only in single direction and they are terminated with load impedance so when they combine together we get this so here the resultant uh, radiation pattern is in sing this is the resultant radiation pattern and the major lobe uh, of having the maximum radiation intensity is in a single direction it's in one direction okay so i am repeating once more non resonant v antenna have major lobe in one direction and two major lobe in individual radiation pattern now let's compare resonant antenna and non resonant v antenna here there is no i'm telling once more here uh, there is a, if can, they can ask for exams what's the difference between resonant type and non resonant types so for resonant type there is no matched load radiation pattern happen in both directions but here there exists matched loads that terminated with matched loads and exist in the radiation pattern exists only in one direction the major radiation beam the radiation pattern exists only in one direction so now we have completed the resonant type and non resonant v antenna now how to increase directivity of v antenna okay we told earlier we can increase the uh, directivity of v antenna by increasing the uh, length of the long wire